heredity. As we learnt earlier, the common basic similarity we can find in the reproductive process is the generation of individuals in similar design but with many variations from parent to offspring. Before we learn in detail, let us discuss what is meant by heredity. Heredity is transmission of characteristics from one generation to another generation. Inheritable characteristics are also called as traits which are anatomical or physiological or psychological or reproductive characteristics in the individual. The rules of heredity determine the process by which traits and characteristics are reliably inherited. The rules of inheritance in case of human beings, both father and mother contribute equal amount of genetic material to the child. This means each trait is influenced by both maternal and paternal genetic material that is DNA. If the trait is influenced by both then how to determine which trait is seen in the child? Gregor Johann Mendel was the first one who worked out the main rules of such inheritance and conducted scientific experimental study on heredity. Mendel observed many contrasting variations in the characteristics of garden pea plant. Some of the contrasting variations are seed shape, round, wrinkled, seed color, yellow, green, flower color, violet, white, stem height, tall, dwarf, etc. Mendel selected tall and dwarf plants and allowed them to grow naturally. As pea plants reproduce by self-pollination, he observed all tall plants produce tall offspring plants and dwarf plants produce dwarf offspring plants generation after generation under natural conditions. Then he crossed a tall plant with a dwarf plant, produced progeny and calculated the percentage of tallness and dwarfness in subsequent generations. When a tall plant is crossed with a dwarf plant, all plants were tall in the first generation F1, that is, there were no medium height plants or dwarf plants. This means that only one of the parental traits were seen but not the mixture of the two. Were all the tall plants in F1 generation are same tall as parental plants? Hence, Mendel experimented by self-pollinating parental plants as one batch and F1 generation self-pollination as the other. In self-pollination of parental generation, all plants were tall. But when F1 tall plants reproduce by self-pollination, in the second generation F2, both the tall and dwarf plants are produced. This indicates that both the tallness and shortness traits were inherited in the F1 plants but only the tallness trait was expressed. Thus, two copies of the trait are inherited in each sexually reproducing organism. These two may be identical or may be different depending on the parentage.